What's up, nerds on a Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Throne of Bone. I am very happy to report that the first video, or at least the first release video, like, really, really did well in terms of views and stuff, in terms of uh, comments, so it shows me that people want to see more, which is amazing because I want to play so much more of this game. <laughs> now that it's finally out and it's getting updated over time, I'm just, I mean, do the popular demand, the bonus battle is back, which I think means that once you win, and then if you win again, you can play against the, the deck that won last time. I think that's the bonus battle. We're gonna jump in with a new game. We're gonna go with the Flesh Smith. In progress art. Oh, nice. They didn't have that either last episode. That's cool. My minions gain health equal to the number of minions I've merged. So with this one, you definitely want to keep double minions and stuff like that. And we're gonna just jump in. I'm not 100% sure of what I want to do. If I kill an enemy, gain one attack permanently. Uh, this is good since we start with it. But overall, like usually, if this is not your first attacker, it, it won't bring you far. Because one health and stuff. By the way, uh... Let's do a little, what's it called again, challenge. I want two new subscribers from this episode. This could be you. This should be you. If you have, I haven't subscribed yet, you should. Please, help the channel grow. All right, um, unsure. Like this, technically, zombie and rogue. I'm, like, zombies aren't bad. Technically, I really want horror, a horror deck. Because they do have some very, very interesting uh, abilities, usually. And I think... Combat start, ideal magic damage equal to my health to a random unprotected enemy. Or we start with just another attacker, because this one does 2 damage in the beginning, but cannot attack himself because he has 0 health. Uh, and the archer can just attack. I think we're gonna go for the archer. I'm not gonna lock, because, like, beginning cards, usually no big deal. Okay. I, again, no idea what I want to play. Technically, I really want a horror game. Uh, <laughs> I don't want a horror game. I don't like horror games. <laughs> but uh, a game with horrors. And also, I want to do a poison run. After that, I've never really looked into spirits. And, I mean, increase your magic mastery, which is not bad. Whenever I survive an attack, I deal one magic damage back. This is generally not bad. We could also... Like, get this one by, like, getting rid of this guy. Let's do this. But I don't think I will. Let's see. Yeah, here we have a poison guy, the Spore Sower. Apply one poison to enemies in my lane. Oh, I think in the demo it had that just one random enemy got poisoned. But this deals poison to enemies in my lane. Oh, that's good. I mean, I'm not going to go for it. We're just going to keep going regularly. Okay, I think as long as we start attacking, this guy should kill someone, become stronger. So we're going to keep him around for as long as we can. You take damage back, you take damage back. And if we can increase our, um, our magic... Infinity, magic damage overall, I completely forgot what it's called, magic mastery, then we could increase this by quite a lot. Hamid Sar, deal 3 magic damage to an unprotected enemy, gets triple the bonus for magic mastery. Oh, so this should be a horror game, definitely. Whenever you reroll, give a random unshielded minion in the shop a shield permanently. That's awesome. Combat start, kill a friendly minion, then apply 3 poison to enemies in its lane. Eh. Now nah, we're gonna take that. That just sounds too much, like too much fun. Okay, whenever a minion dies, I get plus two plus one in combat, this combat. It doesn't say friendly minion, right? Whenever a minion dies. Ooh, I like it. This guy was very strong last time, but we were not gonna go for any related things. I mean, we will get some mages probably, but nah. So this guy, you always put him pretty much in the last spot so that the most amount of minions can go down for him to get stronger. This one is a nuke, kills itself to deal damage. Nah, don't really care. Whenever friendly spell triggers, I get plus one plus one this combat. I mean, this is just once, is the thing. 
So yeah, nothing really for us. And let's see. Oh! Oh, I can choose. Yeah, it doesn't say random, so of course I get to choose. Minions die, this guy just gets stronger. Oh wow, we actually lost that. Interesting! Something went pretty much wrong there. Good to know. Okay, let's see. Reclaim. Rogues and mages get plus three attack. Do have some rogues. Skeletons and zombies get plus two plus two. We do have some of those as well. Or plus two to your magic mastery, which we can increase to plus three to... Yeah, okay, let's go with this. Let's go, definitely go with this, because plus two to your magic mastery, which means this would get triple the bonus. So plus two would be a plus six, and then another plus one, so plus three, times three would be nine more damage. So we already deal 12 damage at the start. Holy shit. Okay, uh, here I'm pretty damn sure. Like this, deal one damage to an unprotected enemy. So one of these takes one damage. Whenever a friendly minion dies, give related minions plus one, one. I'm pretty sure that this guy wins. I could just do some more, like, research, but yeah, no. By research, I mean just look at everything. Plus four skulls next turn. That's good. And yeah, magic mastery. This relics is ours. So this deals 12 damage already in the beginning. Holy shit. Okay, okay. There, there's some good stuff. We want to double up here. Um, you know? No, I survive an attack. So it doesn't... This guy doesn't need to deal... Uh, to be dealt damage. As in, uh, if I shield him... Oh, by the way, that's, that's new. This looks new. If I shield this guy and he blocks an attack with a shield, he still survived an attack, right? So technically that should work. We combine this one... Uh, target minions gains plus 5 health, but gains defender. This one. Because defenders cannot attack, which doesn't matter because we don't have an attack anyway. But we get even more defense, plus we get health when we combine uh, cards, creatures, whatever, together. Combat star deal 4 magic damage to all units. Ah. Mm, no, that's not good for us. That's not good. Like in a in a full horror deck, most of the most of the horrors are pretty good with defense. Usually. Oh, there's what we could. Could get rid of now. We could keep the, nah, let's, let's let's do this. Ooh, another one. And what's what's you? Give another million plus three health permanently. Yeah, this would probably go to this guy, just to keep him alive. So yeah, let's let's uh, lock this one. Oh, oh, the beetles, the scarabs. That one is really good. Now here, you have twelve damage to an unprotected minion. Let's just destroy this guy, right? Also, oh, they survive. I mean, this one doesn't, but oh, he survives. Yep, we dealt damage back because it attacked, it destroyed our shield, but that also counts as us surviving an attack. Um, how about? And then how about this and one minion? I mean, I could also give it to the zombie, but the hungerer, technically, sooner or later, I'll get rid of him. Oh, yes. I mean, that one would also be really fun because in the beginning, like I said, we, we deal 12 damage, so that would be plus 12 health in combat. But yeah, we definitely lock this one. Probably gonna buy this guy as well because he gives us free rerolls each turn and that is very useful okay uh they are just strong and you turn start grant plus one plus one to my highest attack ally sure uh just deal as much damage as we can i feel like we don't have the damage to do anything here right well we deal damage back not enough. Nope. Okay, we take some damage. That sucks. We are good against regular small enemies, but the stronger they get, the worse for us. Let's merge. 
and give horrors everywhere health. Does it really help us? I don't know. Now we can combine those two. And, oh, sil okay, regular silver and gold. And now summon a minion for no cost. Uh, we don't have really no horror or anything. Whenever a related minion attacks, give it plus six attack this combat. Skeleton warrior. We have one skeleton and that's it. Shit. Shielded. Whenever a shield is consumed, I get plus one plus one permanently. That one would be useful. Uh, ooh, support. Increase your magic mastery by the highest level amongst your stored minions. Like this one's level, I think is three, right? This one would be four because it costs four. Is that the level? Or is it how often you have like done stuff? Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna take this just for a whole lot of damage. Like I said, I'm gonna buy this one for the free reroll each turn. We want this one. Definitely. Because then we can put those two together. Could get rid of like these two, but I why would I, right? Yeah, I mm. So, one skull will just go to waste. That happens. Okay, proceed. Deal 18 damage. Problem is, usually I want to go for the backline with the whole... With a whole lot of damage. Can't always go... Can't always do that, but whatever. Yeah, deals 18 damage. Holy shit. Wait a second. Oh yeah, increases the magic mastery. Okay, got it, got it. Level five minion, uh, level three minions. Oh, that's okay. Now level three minions appear. These are level two. That makes sense. If a friendly minion attacks, you choose its target. Oh shit, that's good. Whenever you summon a minion during combat, deal eleven magic damage to a random enemy. That would be incredible in combination with what's it called? With the harvest guys, the what are they called again? The reapers. Whenever a friendly shield is consumed, apply two poison to all enemies. That's actually not bad, but I only have one shield is the problem. So let's go for this one. We are in control now. First of all, do this. Give someone more health. This someone is going to be you. Give horrors everywhere more health. I don't know if that's such a great idea. Uh, cannot afford. We could if we got rid of someone, like you, for example, because you're just here, you know? Wait a second. If I did this, we get it. Oh, we get the whole thing double. Yeah, we gotta keep that, so now we deal 24 damage at the start. Squash Buckler. Come and start to make a bonus attack, but I resummon me. Otherwise, I gain a shield. There you. That's pretty cool. But yeah, we, we technically want to combine them for the passive and all, but just like getting double the disability is just awesome. Oh, these fuckers are shielded, but you aren't. You're sneaky. So I can kill you. Okay, who do we attack here? I mean, we have to attack one of the shielded guys. We survive this. We don't survive this. Okay. Uh, small one attacks here. You're sneaky, so we have to go. We have to destroy you somehow. Deal damage back. Deal damage back. W wait. Why did I not? Why was I not able to make this one attack? Because this one did attack. Didn't get attack, right? Well, whatever. Might might have been wrong. Earn an additional minion, sto minion storage slot. Gain life or XP. Guaranteed one spirit in each shop. No. First slot attacker is sneaky. Shield it. And gets plus one plus one. That's good. That is really good. Frontline gets two health. Backline gets two attack. It's not bad. Yeah, we're definitely going to go for this. Secret tunnel. Awesome. Uh, we gain magic mastery, yes, please. Deal 27 damage. Um, do we gain EXP? Nah, no, let's gain one life back just to be safe. <sighs> it, it, it 
<clears throat> you know, nothing really fits here. Oh, it's the Huntsman. Uh, the most awesome guy. So now, since this one is the first up, he's sneaky, meaning he can attack the backline, and I can choose where he attacks. This is awesome. He's shielded, so he's most likely to... He is. He will live his first attack. Always. And if he kills, he gains plus one attack permanently. And he gets plus one plus one, I think, right? Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, what do you do? Combat start, gain attack equal to my health. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, I like that. Currently, it's a 0-13, so it's gonna be a 13-13. Ooh, you know what? Screw you. Thank you for your service. Uh, we could get it a second time. Or... You hmm. Add my attack and health to the minion in front of me. This one wouldn't have any attack, but 11 health, like if we put it here? Sounds quite fun, so let's keep it for now. So yeah, let's just have two of these. Uh, okay, that kinda sucks. Heal 27 magic damage, let's attack this guy, that's gonna be bad. How? Wait, I... If a friendly minion attacks, you choose its target. Oh, now? Now I get to. This guy, I didn't get to. This doesn't count as a friendly minion? What? I mean, th this, this game is... Just got released, right? More or less. Uh, wait, let's do this. So that we survive. So that's very likely that it's just a bug or whatever. But technically, again, I am not able to... Or do you count as something like a, a, a... I don't know. I don't know why this doesn't always work. Again, it's quite possible that because this is a... This is a... Um, what's the word? What is the word? What am I looking for? What word am I looking for? Uh, nah, I kind of really... I really want to keep that. Uh, let's push you two together. Gain a skull this turn. Your horrors everywhere have plus one attack permanently. Yeah, sure. Because now that doesn't really help this guy because... Oh, no, wait. Gain attack. It's not set your attack. It's gain attack, so it will be at 21, 20. Nice. But yeah, it could be a glitch that it's not working. Quite possibly. Um, what do we do? Here. I don't really care for this guy. Uh, but what if we <laughs> do 40? And every time this one survives and getting attacked, we deal 9 magic damage back twice because we fully... Uh, you know what I mean. Fully loaded it. I don't know what it's called. Fully combined, I think? Yeah. Is there a way to see which level everyone here is? Because again, or wait, are if they cost four, they are a level three. Is that a possibility? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And this would be level one, costs two, right? This is a level two, costs three. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a whole lot of sense. Um, like this one, really cool, especially with our 27 damage in the beginning, or later that would get so much defense, but no offense, so to speak, to speak of, so I don't think that would be any good. So let's just re-roll for now. Again, <sighs> no, hey, what are you? Sun Shaman. Whenever you summon a minion, friendly minions gain plus one attack this combat. I mean, not bad. In the harvest build. Ooh. Yeah. Keep this. Because the thing is, I could... Oh my goodness. I could combine them. So that one of them gets stronger. Stuff like that. And then I, have, I still have two times. But I could just put him back here in storage. And the support ability would still work. So we would increase it even more. All we need to... All we would need then is a strong minion in the background. Oh, yes. Nice. Finally, we can do some things. Shoot some damage here. And I wasn't able to choose the target. Which, again, bullshit, I should be able to. I definitely should be able to do that to every single every single time. Right? It's not just me. It says so. If a friendly minion attacks, all of these are friendly minions, you choose its target. 
that that's the wording that's I'm, I'm not you know I'm not crazy here am I <laughs> if, if I am please tell me let me know but pretty sure I'm not this one gets stronger and stronger but literally that just 15 and 9 that's not great uh 13 42 mm -hmm. we're gonna keep them separate all of them <laughs> all of them Okay, uh, whenever a shield is consumed, I get plus one, plus one permanently. Generally, not bad. I, I think? Sorry to you, but I think we're just gonna keep this guy around. Uh, this one I really like. I just want to give him more attack somehow. Okay, let's see. So, first things first, the 42 damage here. Now, oh, now we can finally attack. Interesting. Allies get plus two attack. Yeah, uh, kill one of them. Now they attack me. That's okay. This one gets stronger every single time anyone loses a shield. So that's good. I don't care about any of you. Sorry. I could get another mirror guy. I could get another one of you. I could upgrade you. Uh, zombies have health. Zombies have attack. Four warriors have permanent health, which would give this one plus one more damage. Now, let's go for zombie attack. Why not? Kind of want that guy, but... Oh, wow. There he is again. <laughs> oh, what are you? Fiendish Fractal. Attacks double my attack this combat. Every single time you attack? Is that what I'm reading here? That sounds interesting. Not gonna lie. Okay. 42 damage to someone. Let's go with... Uh, you grant plus 2 plus 2. You heal them. Boom. Let's do this. Let's do that. Because we're sneaky, we can do that. And the game let me do it. <laughs> That's very nice. Uh, 22, 13. So I think it would be in our best interest to do this. Right, question mark? <laughs> uh, 12, 18. So, attack this guy. We get stronger. We deal damage back. Oh my goodness, that's so much damage. Uh, let's destroy this guy. Yeah, little one with one damage. Whatever, still one damage. Uh, let's attack here. Let's attack here, just so that the increase in attack goes... <laughs> 14 magic damage twice every single time this survives an attack. I love it. I love this card very much. It doesn't seem very strong in the beginning, but if you just... In a deck like this... If a minion dying triggers a friendly ability, trigger it twice. So first of all, a minion, not a friendly minion dying, but a minion dying triggers a friendly ability. If I kill an enemy, so enemy dying, I get plus one attack permanently. So it would get two. Right. This is not dying. This is not dying. This is not dying. This is dying. When a minion dies, I get plus two plus one this combat. So this one definitely a big contender. Kill a friendly minion then give related minions their attack and health this combat. Would be useful with this. <laughs> Minions in your shops have plus one, plus one for every minion you've sacrificed this turn. Eh. Let's go with this. That seems fun. Fun, fun, fun. Skeletons and zombies are related. No. Horrors and blights. Ah, damn it. Blights. blights and spirits. I mean, skeletons and zombies seems like the best thing. Strengthens your minions and gamble. Earn additional minion storage slot. Give minions in your shops. You know what? Let's go with this. Give me an additional slot, just so that I have more space down here. Minions in your shops have plus one attack, sure. Skeletons and zombies are related, which I don't think I have anything that has related stuff, right? Okay, um, damn it. I only have seven, I would need eight, is the thing. Double my attack this combat. I mean, I'm I can get one of put one of you back. I could put two of those together. Now that doesn't make any sense. 
Let's go with this. Do I want to get rid of something? Like, if I were to change this around, we would get down to 29. And 42 health is just amazing. This one just lags in damage. That's pretty much it. Everything else, awesome. I think... Oops. I was about to <laughs> lock it. Shit. Stein. Oh, wait. We got Frank and Stein. That's nice. Increase your poison mastery by the highest level amongst your stored minions. Oh, that's so cool. So it's the same just with poison. Oh, these two together. Yeah, we definitely need to do a zombie deck in the future. But hey, now we can just combine these two. And all horrors gain plus one attack. Because this one gets doubled every time it attacks. So the more starting damage, the better. This one has now one more damage. I mean, yay, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. First of all... We kill something here. Whenever a minion loses a shield, gain plus three attack. Ooh, that sucks. Okay, so we definitely murder you so that we can get back here. You didn't let me choose once again. Why? Why game? Why? Uh, shit. Yeah, everything I could attack here would kill this guy. So let's just deal the most damage we can right now. You don't have a shield anymore. Shit. But you will survive this. Okay. Um, six damage. Sure. Kill this guy. And yeah, every single time someone anything dies, and if my minions and the enemy's minions kill each other, that doubles, like, that increases his by twice. This one just destroys the shield. Oh, he gets attacked back. Love it. Um, I'm gonna attack this one. And boom, you're dead. 5341. Holy shit. If I could get something like that again, an ability or something like that, that would be amazing. Okay, okay, okay. Now. <laughs> Wait. What if. Now, hear me out. What if I were to take this guy and get rid of the Skull Juggler? How much? 16. That's 51 magic. And 17 magic twice. We don't get a free reroll each turn, but other than that. Uh, give another friendly hand a minion now. Don't really care. Ooh, this one looks cool. Moon Shaman. Whenever you sacrifice a minion, friendly minions gain plus two health permanently. Yeah, I don't care for sacrificing, actually. Okay, this time, we're gonna keep this around. The thing is, I could combine all the Franks together now and get a fully evolved Frank. But that would probably just double his ability. And right now I have it quadrupled, right? So, first of all, deal 51 damage to you. Now I can attack whoever I want. That is very nice of you, game. Thank you. Um, there is no one I could survive attacking. I mean, oh, of course, I'll survive every single attack. But yeah, everyone... Let's get plus three attack. I think I just want to get rid of any shields, right? Problem is now we lose two shields. Oh, shit. That's not good. Uh, what? Are you shielded again? Oh, no. I killed this one's shield. Shit. Yeah, whatever. I won't survive any attack here anyway. So let's just murder. Not do as much damage as we can here. Okay. 20 and 27. So we cannot even kill this guy is the problem we could not survive and attacking any of these so i just i think we do this um boom shit stop shooting damage we are not looking great just saying we're not looking great because this guy will survive deal damage back and that's it Okay, we lose two health. We don't lose the whole thing, but we're definitely lacking in damage department, which kind of sucks. Okay, rogues everywhere have one attack. Horus have one health. Let's give rogues plus one attack. Sure. Uh, like this one, I'm. I, I can't get rid of this guy, but I'm not really looking to... You know what? Let's, let's do this. 
target minions gains a shield. That would be... S I mean, we're gonna do it. Is the thing. But the problem is, it would be... It, it sucks right now. Um, I'm, I'm gonna do this. Target minions gains plus health... Uh, plus five health, but gains defender. Again? We could give it to this guy. Uh, we're definitely... Uh, this guy. Definitely gonna go do that. And now we're gonna do this. Is that a good idea or not? Uh, probably not. Combat start, set my health and attack equal to the greatest among related minions. Okay, now my question here is if... Like, is it like it gets the highest health from the one with the highest health, in this case 57, and the highest attack from the one with the highest attack? In this case, since we're talking about horrors or mages uh would it be two would it be four would it be six i don't know let's see or i just keep it here so that we yeah double increase your magic by double the highest level so basically i reduced our damage by quite a lot but since this is a very high level card it's also not bad yeah, let's keep it in the bag for now. I mean, we could just switch these two out. Let's fit... Oh, wait. Okay, now, thing is... Also, I kind of combined in hopes of getting a skull so that we can buy this. But now, let's, let's see what else we can find. Tech? No. No. Technically? Ooh, what are you? Whenever a neighboring related minion's ability triggers for the first time each combat, this copies it. Huh. That sounds quite interesting. Let's keep this for now. Now, my question is, if I were to use this card... You know what? You try it. Let's just try it. Technically. Right? Technically. If these everything combat start happens at the same time, this one will get... Keep it 7 attack. If stuff up front happens before stuff in the back, then this one will get plus 26 attack, so it will be a 28. And then this one will get the 28. We'll see in this combat if it's going to be a 7 or a 28. But first of all, magic, of course. We can shoot, what was it? 33. Didn't, oh, yeah, we had, we had more. We would have more. Whatever, 33 is enough to deal to kill one of these guys. Okay, it happens one after another. And again! No, wait. Set my health and attack. Oh, but through other stuff, we just gain bonus time. Okay, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> okay, 19, 15. You did, like, this one is really useless right now. It's the problem. Because... This one won't get any more health or any more damage or whatever. That's a big problem. Uh, 28 and 26. <sighs> yeah, all we can really do here is attack one of these guys. That's a big problem, in my opinion. 23 and 34. We, we need smaller minions to get rid of any of these shields. Stop that. Uh, here? Okay. 35 and 50. I can just kill one of these guys, but I think it's better to just... No, you know what? Get rid of these guys. Uh, 42, 39. So yeah, that, that kills one of these. You take damage back at only five? Oh, oh, our magic. Oh yeah, of course. Frank is gone, so our magic mastery is abysmal. That makes a whole lot of sense. Boom, we should... Yeah, we, we win this this time. Nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, things are looking up. Are they great? No? Okay, um... Now, this is where things get interesting. This one, very useful. 
What question? Neighboring. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's see. Let me see. What? How would I? I'd probably finally get rid of this guy. I buy this one. This one stays... Wait a second... How about this? Yes, now we basically lost a shield because this... The secret tunnel, he's sneaky and shielded. Of course, I got that. Uh... I want... How do I want to do this? I think if I just put this one here, that makes a whole lot of sense. And if I put this here. This triggers in the beginning. We copy. This? I don't know if this counts as trigger. I don't think that this counts as trigger, right? No. This triggers, we copy. I mean, I could put this up. Wait, I could put this up front. And I could trigger, copy these two. That's also not great. I mean, I could technically do something like this. No, no, no. Ah, shit. I like the idea of just copying someone else's ability. Also, I don't think that we will ever get to use this guy. So I think it's just better to sell. Just keep keep it around. Yeah, but probably not going to do a whole lot. Um, good, but also not great shit. Wait a second. Wait a second. I deal magic damage equal to my health to a random unprotected enemy. Wait. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> ah, there's so much stuff happening and I'm not... Okay, lock this. I kind of want a stronger minion in the background. Like, this would bring us to 14, which would deal so much more damage. I want to... I mean, technically, this one says set my health and attack equal. So, if I gain stuff, but then it sets my attack, that wouldn't do much. So, if I were to do stuff like this, and then this. I think that's actually not bad. Yes, this one is not our last one. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Now, in theory... In theory, this one should copy this at the start of the turn. This ability as soon as and an, whenever a shield is consumed, so it would increase permanently. And this first time a minion dies. I think that works like that. I think. Okay, what do you do? Turn start again. Attack equal to the necromancer's magic. Are you shitting me? Plus 10 attack every... What? Attack every turn start. Fuck you. Um, I, I think we... Oh my goodness, it actually worked. 43.95. I don't even know how that worked. I... I... If a minion dying triggers a friendly ability trigger twice. I still don't... I don't understand how this is a 76. I don't understand how this is a 95. But I like it. <laughs> I do like it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, let's attack. I mean, we could just try this. But I think it's better to just attack like so. Kill more and more. Uh, do this. This time, I don't know. Again, no idea if that's a good idea. But we're going to do it anyway. Regardless gonna do it yeah we deal damage back 37 yeah kill you we have to kill you a few times so why not do it right now my big guy gone happens happens to the best of us 
Uh, you will go down. No, wait, you won't go down if I just do this. You could just destroy the Emperor guy. Wait, he's still alive? Not anymore. Now he isn't. Uh, 30 <laughs> Shit, that's not enough. Whatever. We can just deal damage here. You take... How do you get shielded every single time? Whenever I take magic damage, I gain a shield. Oh, fuck you. Um, boom, you dead. You take damage, you don't get re-shielded. It's the good thing. Oh, wow. That actually works. Holy shit, this card is incredible. And I love that uh, neighboring... I The first time I played this game, I read neighboring as just to the left and to the right. But no, this is also neighboring, because they are right next to each other. This doesn't count as neighboring. Okay. <sighs> Increase your... Poison Mastery by 1 permanently. Oh, that's so good. No, this is the best. Your friendly minion plus 5 attack permanently. Oh my... Shit! So, Invoke means for 3 skulls. Once a turn, like before we battle, I can use this. I can play this. I can do something. In this case, it would be increase your Magic Mastery by 1 permanently, which would make this so incredibly strong. Because basically that's Increasing it by 1, and increasing this damage by 3. As well as it would increase this ability by 1 every single turn. That's good. The other thing is, give a friendly minion plus 5 attack permanently. Every single time. This one is sneaky. This one is just strong. This one pretty much doesn't die. This one starts so much stronger. This one finally... You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's give me that. And we're gonna do it every single turn. After a fight, grant a minion plus one plus one permanently. Double if you win. Uh, <laughs> shit, if only we could win. Huh. <laughs> Seriously. That's just... Uh, the thing is, if I still had the guy who gets stronger every time he kills, we could just... You know? Also, now we're losing... We're losing shields, right? Grant a minion plus two plus two. Um, we're gonna grant that to you. Gain one life back, please, and thank you. Okay, we are in the end stretch, basically. First, we always start with that. Always. And we increase this one's damage. Just so that it does anything, basically. Uh, oh. We can, do, we can use more enemy, more minions, whatever. Um, yeah, just put those guys here. They are basically useless. Thing is, I can just switch these around and have the strong one in the back. Doesn't always mean that he is the last to die, but still. Um, yeah, I really need some strong minion in the background. Okay, 33 magic damage. Whenever I take damage, I gain that much attack. <laughs> No! Why would you? How could you? That sucks. Like, that is way too much damage, definitely. Um, oh, kill, kill these guys in the beginning. They, they just make everyone stronger. I don't want that. I don't need that. Uh, you can just attack without any repercussions because you are shielded. Uh, you, the, you, little guy in the back. You just go down. You are here as a sacrifice, basically. Okay, 3776. 3776. There won't be any possibility of us killing this guy in one fell swoop. But as long as I don't deal any damage to them, they won't get any stronger either. For now. Shit. Ah, now he took damage somehow. Fuck. That's not good. That's really not good. I mean, wait. We're living. We are living. Holy shit. Unholy shit, basically. Ooh, ooh. Sorry. I could play this once again somewhere else, but whatever. Uh, or everywhere. You know what? I want more health. 
Uh, we're definitely gonna... Oh my goodness, wait! Okay, I'm sorry. I know I said I would do this every single turn, but no! No. Ah, this is... Oh, shit. Okay. You're a random enemy. You five attack, then the attack, a random neighbor. This sucks so much. Uh, deal 42 to any unprotected enemy. It's triple the bonus for Magic Mastery. You. Okay, someone dies, someone attacks the neighbor. Oh shit, and you shoot back. Ah. Mm. That's not good. That's really not good. I mean, hey, as long as they attack anyone with the shield, I'm good. Okay, this one dies, I'm okay. We will once again... Go and attack the healer in the background. Oh, let's attack the healer. Freaking destroy the healer. Screw it. We have to do this. Okay, shit. That's really not good. Uh, 39, 45. You know what? Screw it again. Yeah, we basically have to attack these guys sooner or later anyway. Still not dead. Whatever. Now you're dead. We are still looking good. Right? Yeah, we're winning. This card is so good, it's incredible. Could I have played this better? Yes. Somehow. Definitely. Level 5 minions. Okay. Whenever friendly minions' shield is consumed for the first time each combat, they gain a shield. Oh, God, that's so good. Their highest attack minion dies for the first time each combat resummon it. Also good. Whenever you summon a minion, give related minions plus one plus one permanently. Also good, but this is just too good. In combination with this guy. Wait, skeletal dragon. First of all, we could get this guy a second time. Okay, now what I'm gonna do. Combat start. I don't care about any of this, but you are level 5 minion. <laughs> that was a stupid laugh, I'm sorry. Now we invoke to give a friendly minion attack. You. And now we lock this. Okay, what do you do? First start, you increase charge and you deal 20 magic damage to all enemies and gain 10 attack. So after 10 turns, technically. Deal 60 magic damage to an unprotected enemy. This time we're gonna do it against one of you guys. Because in the beginning I still have a shield. I can attack whoever I want, whenever I want. Oh shit, unless this guy is attacking first. Uh, yeah, we're... Definitely gonna destroy you, get our shields back, so this guy gets stronger and stronger. Oh no, a minion died. Whatever shall I do? I don't care. Like, seriously, don't. Uh, we're gonna attack this guy. Yes, he gets 12 attack, but it's only 12 attack. <laughs> we got our shields back. Our three attack guy, I, like, do we care? Not really. Would have probably be better to attack this guy, whatever. Uh, 44, not enough to do anything Yeah. But we're strong enough to just survive this. I don't know if that was the best idea. You are not shielded is the problem. Shit! Mm, my strong ones. My strong ones. Once again, destroy this guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're already this strong? That sucks. You are not shielded. That sucks. And we have to kill these guys. That <clears throat> sucks. Shielded, so we kill this. Yeah, no, there's no way we win. But hey, still, yes, we lost. But that was a really fun, really unexpected uh, turn, round, whatever. This reclaimed item can now appear in future runs. Awesome. Awesome. Collection, bone saw, something. Reclaimed item. Ready, bone saw. Wait, didn't, it, didn't we already have that? Pretty sure. Whatever, whatever. Some, something, we got something, and that's okay. Don't, don't care, like, really. <laughs> we get more stuff in the future. Um, definitely... Definitely want to go for a zombie run. Especially with Frank and Stein. <laughs> and, I mean, the little mummified pet. Like, there's so much synergy with zombies, it's incredible. Blight. I absolutely want a Blight build. Yeah, we're... More, more more and more episodes are to come so everyone who told me in the comments that they they just subscribed for this game just stay tuned there's gonna be so much more 
Thank you nerds so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye bye.